every project every project that i do i end up with a complete mess of shulkers afterwards that i have to go through you know i i, I would always say that automated storage is best but i find manual storage to be the most that makes sense for me so hello anyone everyone and no one welcome back to another episode of a truly bedrock and previously on truly bedrock we were over here adding in our sugarcane farm once again and our bamboo farm. Now, of course, I've done a little bit of AFKing since then. And as you can see, we've started to gather up sugarcane and bamboo. But today, I would like to get into what we were trying to get done in our last episode, which is actually getting a smelter in place for this room right here. Because we're way into this season of Truly Bedrock and we still do not have a smelter. So... Yeah, do I want to deal with all this? I think that I do, but before I do that, I need to run over to the frog light farm that Foxy and I built quite a long time ago and just see if there's any frog lights over there because we currently have none of the green ones left. And with the theme of our base here being lime green concrete and the green frog lights we really need some more of those so let's run over there see if there's anything there and well let's just hope that there is you know foxy may be brave enough to fall down that hole and trust powdered snow but i for one do not from the top height now from this point on oh, that still makes me nervous every time and purple we got a few green we got a few yellow there. We got a bit of magma. I'm just curious if we still have our frogs in place. And it sounds like they are. Can I just jump over this way? And then let's get up here. I want to see that they're all still there, which it looks like they are. So let's get our AFK account, get him brought over here and get him AFKing this while we're doing what needs to be done. I'm telling you. When you go live and you try to stream and you're trying to be productive, it's very hard to be productive sometimes. Look, people wanting fail trees, people wanting armor stands, people wanting trees built. And the only thing I've successfully gotten done at this moment in time is remove those shulkers there. I haven't even touched none of the stuff up there. None. None. And I blame half of this on Watchful. Uh-huh. Yeah. Watchful. It's always Watchful. Right. Now we're going to need concrete, as I said. And that might pose a little bit of a problem because we've done had server restart today. And we've got to try to move our, what is it, the zombie. Because with the update, it has broke the hitbox of the zombies in minecarts. Don't ask me why. I wish I understood, but I don't. So all I know is that we've got to fix that thing. So let's grab need some pillaring blocks. That's that's not enough there. There, grab a couple stacks of netherrack. Let's head up here and evaluate what we're gonna do. I hope it'll be as simple as just putting a new sticky piston underneath of the dude. And that should raise him up enough that it wouldn't cause an issue. But at the same time, we're gonna need we're gonna need a lever. We'll we'll get the lever in just a moment. So, yeah, he got changed with the update. Everything else should still be fine with this thing. So my hope is to get up here and not get punched by the zombie, which he looks like he wants to eat us. Yep, yep, definitely wants to eat us. Uh, put that there, put... Can I... Okay, good, good, good. And then please just go where I want you to. That's, that's not what I wanted to happen in that situation. Just, come on. No. This is not going to work the way I want it to. No. What if I look at the very corner? No. Of course not. So we're going to need to... <laughs> not let that work neither. You. Go. Go there. Oh my goodness. Right. So let's take all this out. Let's walk over this way. And we're going to have to move this piston up to that point. So if we take this back out now and we put that there. All right. All right. Let's go get some regular pistons. We need our lever as well. Game. 
that's not quite right. Uh, um, really? Right? Yep. Yep. Just, just a complete good talk there is all that is. Give me that. We need... <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't help it. This is, this is, this is definitely on the funny side of things. Can I have that? Yes, I can. <laughs> Why? Why? How does this even happen? How is this a thing? How? How? Now, is it going to do it when I get up here? No. All right, so it's back to normal. Good, 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 good talk. You, and then I need to unlock the ghast. I don't even know if this is going to work anymore. There might have to be more modifications done to this. I'm hoping that that will be enough. So if I do that. Okay, you should be unlocked. Now, if I move the zombie up, we should get the snowman to fire. Yes. Okay, good. Now we'll drop him back down. Please work first time. Of course you're not going to work first time, because I would like for you to work first time. And when does anything ever work the way that I want it to first time? Alright, let's log out. Let's log back in. Yay! It fired! Absolutely great. Good. Good, good. Oh, there's a silent. Let's wave to the silent. Good. So if that's the case, then let's head up here, pump some concrete into it and see if it's genuinely working now, because that's potentially another problem that we hope that we're not going to have to deal with. So let's grab a couple stacks of that, a couple stacks of that, that and that, turn you over to that, make a bunch of lime dye, excuse me, I said make a bunch of lime dye. I don't know what causes that inventory glitch, I find that very annoying. But sometimes after crafting, it's just like, nope, we're not going to let you continue to craft that at all. Good. Give me one of those back. Thank you very much. Let's see what we've got over here. We've got no lime concrete. The host system is queued with lime concrete. So if we come right here, just stand here for a moment. It should backlog all the way over, which it has. It busted. At least it should have busted. Good. Good, good, good. And then up, oh, come on, end up in the chest. Good, that's all it took to fix that. Good, all right, now let's make some concrete. So we now have concrete situated out. We still need to fix this guy over here. And I don't even know if that's gonna work or not, but we're not gonna worry about that. But uh, I did a flyby over here a while ago and I don't wanna talk about it watchful because I don't know what happened. All I can see is there's a rail, a minecart, a gas tier. I, I, I don't know what happened. And no, it's not my fault. I'm going to blame it on the update, 100%. But what needs to happen next is we need to go ahead and finish getting all this concrete in place so that we can actually, you know, try to get this smelter in that we've been trying to do for two days now. Shouldn't take too much longer, to be honest. All we got to do is fill in this back wall behind there, fill in this roof here, and then we need to fill in this roof up here. Now... On stream today, I also started changing up a few things. I added in a new command. So, of course, the fail trees have come back, and I've started keeping back up with those. But I've also started adding in custom armor stands with trims. Now, of course, at this moment, I've only got one trim. But as you can see, we've had quite a few redemptions of them. Well, I wouldn't call them redemptions. They're more of a lottery to get them. But we've got a few. So that means we're going to have to do some exploring out there because this is the only armor trim I have at the moment. And to be honest with you, I don't even know where all the trims are located. So if you could let me know what's your favorite trim and where it can be found, I would greatly appreciate that. And or if you have any good combos of trim with 
well, whatever they're trimmed with. But that being that, let's go ahead and get all this concrete in here so that we can move on and get the smelter in here. And that right there is wall roof number one done. Let's clear all this up and let's move over to the next one. Now, part of me just wants to say no, don't worry about it. Because I, I didn't realize that half of this base was inside a deep site, which, yay, makes it more fun. That right, watchful. Always more fun. Yep, 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 diggy, diggy ho. Yep, painfully diggy, diggy ho. Yep. You know, after sitting here and thinking about it for a minute, nope. I'm not going to do all of that. I, I know I said I was going to, but I'm actually going to cap it off at this level here. That way it leaves this area at the top. Well, I don't have to dig out this. I don't have to dig out all this for now. And that leaves that open for future farms because we need a honey farm. And I'm sure we can come up with other farms that we're going to need in this area as well. So we'll cap that there and then run that all the way across there. Yep. Fill all this in and that will save us some time today. And future Slack will have to deal with this problem. You know, before I can actually cap off this roof, I'm going to need to determine where our furnaces are going to go and how many we can fit in here. Now, if I come right behind this frog light here, or did I come one in front of it? I came one in front of it. So if I were to do that over here too, I want them to be of the same length. I am going to get nowhere as many as I was going to hope into this situation. But if I put that there and that there, break this one and that one. Some is better than absolutely nothing, I guess, in that situation. So I made a full stack. If we run these across here, that all the way across there, remove that one, remove that one, pick that one back up, pick that one back up. Ah, that's a lot less than I want, but it's better than what we got at this moment, which is absolutely nothing. Right, Watchful? A lot better. Look, 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 it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, the only other option would be to go up and go over the door, but no, no, I won't. I'll, no, 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 this, 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 this. Uh, no, this, this will do. This will do just fine. This will do. This will. This will be fine. This will be good. Where's Where's my hoppers? And that right there will be all of the collection hoppers going in place, which will lead to right here. We'll end up covering all of this with carpet here in just a little bit. Now we need to get the hoppers on top and the ones on the side here, which simple as that right there. Then of course, across the back, we do the same thing here. Now I always forget which one is this? Is this the input or the output? No, our imp fuel or smelt fuel or smelt. I think this is the fuel line. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I mean, what, what's worse that can happen? I get it wrong, right? And then all these across the top like so. I don't know why that animation feels so broken. The hoppers look mahoosive all up in my face here. Now we need to find ourselves some rails. Let's head over here and check our redstone box and that's not quite what I wanted to see. We've got a little bit of gold. What is it? It's gold, redstone, and sticks to make Powered rails, powered rails, powered. Yep, we need some sticks. Let's grab this, turn all of that into sticks. Hopefully that will give us 24. That's definitely not enough. All right, we need more gold. You know, I had totally forgot. I, I was just placing all this go down. And I was like, man, this is not going to give me enough. Totally forgot that fortune now affects gold and iron like that which is a nice bonus i am i am really glad that that is a thing now or else we would definitely have to go like afk the gold farm or something but that oh yeah, that's definitely going to give us enough if not we got a serious problem hopefully this here 
will be enough to get all this situated out. Looks like it is. Please don't snap to that. You... I know, I know, I should have known. That's just that's just my luck. Right, so let's do that, then do that, then do that. Then break this, then break that, then put that there. That, 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 there. We got it situated out. Now, we just need to power everything. So if we put... Uh, we'll put that one there. Put one there. One there. That gets all of that. That gets all of that. And then one additional one right there. Good. That should be everything powered. Turn this off. Let's grab... Oh, now, are you going to work right, though? If I put you there, will you launch? I don't want to talk about it. Nope. 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 <sighs> Fine, let's let's move this then. This this is not I don't uh, I should have done better planning. You know what? At this moment I don't I don't care. I, I just need this thing operational. Good. You will work in that situation. Good. Shut you back off. And then if I put this one up here. You please go there. You work all the way around boom 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 good and then come back and park right so if i put something in from the top because i don't remember that is what needs to be smelted so the bottom one is fuel let's see if we can find some fuel around here somewhere no no one farm at a time, dude. One farm at a time. I'm I'm building smelter is to a farm. It it turns items from one thing to another while AFKing. It is to a farm. Uh huh. Right. You can't argue my logic. Mm. Right. Okay. So here's the question for all of y'all. Is a smelter a farm? Watchful says no. I say yes. Let, let. It's, 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 mm, mm. Okay. All of you, please go in, excuse me, there, and go dry. Good, good. Something in there. No, why is there no fuel in that one? Is that a chunk border? I, I love this game. I, I love this game. Yep. Yep. It has to be on a chunk border. Um, which one is it? It is... Yep, there's no reason. Unless... No. Is the hopper pointing the right way? Huh. Um, we're not, we're not, we're not talking about that launchable. There, that looks better. That's not bad. Maybe as well, pull a few beams down like so. Uh, that's definitely wrong there. So let's take this one back out. Put this one there. Yeah. I'll do that right through there, all the way across. And we'll line all these up across the front here, too. Hmm, that's a too wide center. That is not part of the plan. You know what? We'll just fill that one in like that. We'll cap all of these up here. Just like that. Uh, grab some more diorite, put that there, and then we'll put another ring of stairs all the way around like so. Good. And put another set across there. Oops, you were in the wrong spot. Get you to go in the right way. It's 
interesting to say the least. I feel like we need to fill those gaps in there. And now we can't make polished diorite walls, but we do have normal walls. So let's try to fill those gaps over there with that. And that might just bring it all together here. A little break up from the concrete, and it's just little details to be added to the base, just to make it feel more alive by the time it's all said and done. And not the prettiest thing in the world, but I don't hate it. Last thing that we're going to need to get this situated out is some lime crack, which we have right there. And if we just drop all that across there, boom, boom. It's there. It's, it's, it's what we needed, and it functions. As you can see, we've got our sponges back out of that now. So I think that that right there does cover what we aim to do in today's episode. Can you believe it? Two days in a row, we got all the stuff done that we needed to get done. But that being that, that's where we're going to go ahead and call this one an episode. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like down below. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And if you haven't already, join the Discord. That way you can keep up to date with videos, streams, events, and everything else. With that being that, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.